OK, so we're going to solve this equation to find x. And to get started, we'll work from the bottom upwards in this continued fraction. So starting with just this first piece here, the i plus 6 over i. So if we have 6 over i, whenever we divide by i, we can imagine now taking this as a fraction and multiplying by i on the top and bottom. So we'd get in the numerator 6i and the denominator i squared would give us a negative 1. So we get negative 6i. So this is saying that whenever we have 1 over i, this is just the negative of i, which will be a really useful result throughout these calculations. So then this allows us to evaluate i plus 6 over i is just i take away 6i or negative 5i. So that's the first bit done. And then if we want to move upwards to i plus 5 over this expression, we can now write this whole expression as i plus 5 over negative 5i, because we know that this lower fraction is just negative 5i. And again here, where we've got the 1 over i term, we just replace this by a negative i. So we're going to get i plus 5 over 5 times i, so just i plus i. And then we get 2i for all of this expression down here underneath the 4. So if we work upwards again, we've got i plus 4 over our previous answer. So we've got i plus 4 over 2i. So again, the 1 over i gives us a negative i. So we get i take away 4 over 2 gives us 2 times i. So then we just get negative i for all of this expression underneath the 3. And then if we want to do the same here, we've got i plus 3 over negative i. So let's just write this out. i plus 3 over negative i. So the 1 over i gives us a negative sign, so it becomes i plus 3i or 4i. And then we've got a nicer looking equation which we can start to solve now. So let's just write this out. The whole equation then becomes x equals i over i plus x over... and then we've worked out that everything underneath the x is going to be i plus 3 over negative i, which gives us our 4i here. So we'll clear some space and then we'll be able to properly solve this. Now if we consider the big fraction on the right hand side, we could multiply in the numerator and denominator by 4i to get rid of this fraction in its denominator. So if we multiply everything here by 4i, we also need to multiply in the numerator by 4i. So this gives us a new equation, we've still got x equals, and then 4i times i just gives us negative 4, because i squared is negative 1. And similarly here, i times 4i gives us another negative 4, and then x over 4i times 4i just gives us a plus x, so the 4i's cancel there. So then we can multiply on both sides now by negative 4 plus x, so we'll get x times negative 4 plus x equals just negative 4, and then expanding the brackets we get x squared take away 4x equals negative 4, or we could add the 4 onto the left hand side, and then you see that this quadratic factorises nicely now as x minus 2 all squared equals zero. So then you can see that the only possible solution, we get a repeated root to our original equation, and the only possible solution then is that x equals two.